The spring 2023 season has just started and I am watching a stupid number of shows. So what better way to spend my time than ranking not just the openings from the shows I'm watching, but all 48 anime openings that came out this season. I think that number is right, but it's probably wrong. Okay, let's do this. We're starting off with Skip and Loafer, which is an insanely cute show, and I've loved the two episodes that I've seen so far. But does its opening hold up? Oh, the dancing! Oh, the dancing! Oh, it's very cute! It's not just a little cute. Yeah, I mean, if you put a cute dance sequence in your opening, you're basically cheating. It automatically makes it cute as fuck. That's not just normal cute, that's... That's Omega cute. It's animated so well too. Oh my god, the- Oh my- I'm losing my fucking mind over that. Holy shit, that's the cutest thing I've ever fucking seen in my life. So that's a strong start. I think I've made it clear about how I feel about it, so we'll throw the skip and loafer opening into the cutest shit I've ever seen tier to start things off. Okay, next. Konosuba is finally back with the Megamin spinoff, and of course the opening is gonna be a fun one, as it usually is. To be honest, I've never been a giant fan of the Konosuba openings. I do enjoy them, but not to that great of an extent. And it's no different with this one, it's very similar. Cool! It's funny! It's cute! Yeah! That's my reaction. Yeah! <laughs> so overall, I'll put this in okay, or a little mid. I did see something else at the end of the episode that I can't put on this tier list, but... Yo, what the fu- oh my- <laughs> Yo- oh. Can that be the opening instead? <laughs> Damn. Next up is Demon Slayer, Season 3. Rip this place in like 10 episodes. <laughs> After the fucking insanity that was last season and last season's opening, they've got some massive, massive shoes to fill. Oh, this is different. They did the same pose. Very different this time compared to the previous ones. And it probably has a lot to do with the fact that it's- Oh yeah, it's fucking Man with a Mission opening. That's so weird. This feels so much more shonen than, than all the previous openings. All right, all right. No, I'm down, I'm down. It's a good one, it's a good one. Overall, I'd say a nice change of pace. So like before, we've got some crazy animation, great action sequences, and a great song. But like I said, it's a lot more shonen feeling than before, which I assume might fit the season that's coming up. I haven't read it, so that's my best guess. And something tells me I'm probably not gonna be wrong. Like I have a gun? I know a lot of people might be a bit iffy about this one because it's just so different, but I really like it. So I'm throwing this in dope tier. The Marginal Service. This show is about, uh... I don't know, I don't know. It's clear that they're embracing the weirdness and craziness of the show in the opening, and I do enjoy the visual direction at times too, because it's clear that there's plenty of high energy wackiness going on. I don't know how I feel about the song, and like the opening in general. It's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of forgettable as fuck. But yeah, overall, it's mid. It's quite mid. Maybe it'll grow on me over time, but for now, definitely mid. Vinland Saga Season 2 Core 2. This opening is like a return to what we were once familiar with with Season 1, except with more of a focus on trauma and regret and things like that. So it's still borrowing some elements from the last opening while going back to the whole Vikings and violence thing. And it's brilliant because that definitely also follows how the story's gone as well. Survive Said the Prophet is fun and sick, and I'm glad that they're back because I also love the first Vinland Saga opening. The visuals are stunning and gruesome in true Vinland Saga fashion, and I kind of laugh a little bit every time I see Thor's waving at the end because it's just kind of like... Oh, hey man! Overall, a really dope opening for Peak Land Saga. And also, Vinland Saga for some reason wasn't on the tier list template I used, so I'm gonna use Ultraman to replace it. So please enjoy Ultraman. Insomniacs After School. They wake up, new nighttime anime just dropped. This opening, since the show is basically about sleeping, is really relaxed, really chill, just a nice time. It's cool, it's, it's cute. Okay. There's some cute shots, there's some, some beautiful shots. So overall, I'll put it in okay. It's not my favorite, but definitely not a bad one. Yuri is my job. I wish Yuri was my job. This is a catchy song. I cannot believe Yuri is her job. That's crazy. Okay, I mean, it's all right. Didn't blow me away or anything, but uh, it was cute. It was catchy. Okay, not too much to add there, honestly. It's a bit forgettable in my opinion, but again, not bad at all. Throwing that one into okay slash a little mid once again. 
Okay, this is probably what most of you are waiting for. I am a giant Oshinoko fan. I've been following the manga since chapter one. It's become one of my favorite series to read ever, and the first episode blew me the fuck away. And I'm beyond excited to see how the adaptation continues to play out. But can I say the same about the opening? Is this the opening? This is fire! Holy shit, this is- Dude, this is the new best Yoasubi song, which is insane because they're all fucking amazing. Holy shit. <laughs> is there animation? Oh yeah. <gasps> it's insane. It's insane. This is insane. This is insane. It's unfair. It's unfair how good this is. Dude, it's so good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yo, Asobi is kind of known for having catchy and upbeat songs to the most depressing and shocking lyrics you've ever heard in your life, and this one's kind of no different from that. If you've already seen the first episode, my advice is to look up and pay attention to the lyrics of this song you might find something really cool and really sad. I'm sad. Now, the song and the music video, as well as the show itself, really like to focus on the concept of idols being shrouded in lies. The whole thing is fake, it's a facade, and we see that with the two sides to I, one as like a cute idol one and one as like this darker, edgier one. And I really like how we get these typical idol-like music sections mixed in with these evil choir sections to further drive that point home. Wait, it's perfect. It's got the idol shit. It's got the cute idol shit, and then it has the fucking- ah, 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 ah. But even after all that chaos and confusion, the song actually ends off with a moment of sincerity. I could go on for hours and hours on this shit, but I want to keep it brief, so I'll just say that the way it's done is really, really beautiful. This is for sure my top opening of the season, and my favorite one I've seen in a really long time. I also had to wait a full week before I could see the anime opening version, because that has entirely separate visuals from the music video version. I like what they did with the star, with the star eyes. We call it the Sharing Gun in the manga reader community, but anyway. I think I like the music video more. Not to say I don't like this version, but there's just more shit going on in the music video version. Visually, it's still it's still not bad. It's still really good. The song carries it, man. <laughs> it's just it's still goaded. It's still goaded. Before I move on to the next show, I want to quickly give a shout out to the ending theme, which is also unreasonably good. <laughs> Fucking what the hell, man? This show. Someone really walked into a meeting room one day and was like, guys, I have an idea. Let's make the best show ever and the best opening ever and the best ending ever. Let's just make the best thing. Okay, we're finally moving on. Ranking of Kings is back to kinda. It's more like a spin-off, not really season two, but hey, we'll take it. And to spare us with the super heavy emotions, it seems like the spin-off is a bit on the lighter side of things, so the opening has adjusted with it in a way that kind of reminds me more of the first Ranking of Kings opening more than the second one, because it kind of makes me want to dance. Ooh. We're just getting into it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and this opening is just a great time overall. Fluid animation and a catchy ass song is all I ever ask for. I like it. I like it. It's dope. It looks sick. It sounds sick. I like it. Opening 2 is like my fucking favorite opening ever and it broke my soul. So I'm glad this one's restoring it. <laughs> So, very good shit, throwing it into dope. Ancient Mage's Bride, Season 2. Oh, it's been too long. It's been too long. And this show isn't the only thing that's back. So is Juna, who is the legendary singer who was back after singing the first opening when she was only like 16 years old, I think. Fucking insane talent. I'm a fan of the song. I'm glad Juna's back. And just like we're used to with the show, the opening has stunning visuals with an emotional sounding but still kind of upbeat and fantasy-like sounding song. And there was one other thing that I noticed as well that I want to point out because I think it's really cool. Oh shit! Yo, they have, uh, they got, they got the music from the first opening, right? This is the first opening. Alright, you got the new one, which is... Na 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 versus Na 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 It's mwah. I love it when they do that. Love it when they do that shit. Overall I like it. Definitely a dope opening. Alright, next we got another sequel to a very beloved show, Tony Kawa is back to with season two. And the opening has uh a lot of spoilers. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking, but oh my god. Whoa, spoilers. Holy 
fuck? Dude, what the fuck? They're just spoiling the whole thing! I gotta say, it's really, really cool to see all this shit animated in the opening, but damn, they could maybe chill out a little bit on the spoilers. Also, similarly to the Ancient Mages Bride opening, they've definitely got some callbacks to the first opening on this one, too. Are they gonna make another banger? Dude, this is the same as the first opening. This just feels like the first opening, but part two. And just to quickly show off that comparison, just have a listen. Both of the Tonikawa openings have this obvious but effective blend of old and new styles of music I've noticed. And that fits the show and the characters really well, but also it sounds really interesting and unique because you get this blend of more traditional and older styles of music mixed in with like EDM and shit. But yeah, another great opening from this show. I think I liked it even more than the first one. Definitely goes in dope tier once again. Mashal. This show is fucking funny, dude. And the opening is... I mean, hey, they can't all be winners. <laughs> it's a bit eh. Loki kind of reminds me of the uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX English dub opening, if you remember that one. Overall, I think it's a passable opening. Maybe a bit generic and just kind of missing something, you know? Like, it's it's missing some flavor. Maybe some cream puffs. This one! But it's not the opening. Hell's Paradise. I'm just gonna come out and say it. This one's fucking bomb.org. Okay, the trumpets. I like the style. I like the style. Maybe I'm just a sucker for this type of opening and this type of music, but yeah, I'm really into it. Damn, that's pretty. Fuck. It's weird, it's pretty, it's- it's MAPPA. Fuck people? Okay, I'm down, I'm down. I'm down, I'm down. It's groovy, it's beautiful, it's weird, it's- it's got everything. That's a fucking good one. Easy, easy dope tier. Actually, fuck that. It's so dope that I'm gonna make a second dope tier just for this one. Okay, next up is Birdie Wing Season 2. The best golf anime I've ever seen, which does not narrow it down at all unless you count the cutscenes from Mario Golf Advance Tour for the Game Boy. And one of my favorite things from this show's first season was Penis Life. Penis life, penis life. So coming into season 2, I had to emotionally prepare myself. I'm gonna miss Penis Life. Cause they're not- It's pretty good. It's not gonna be Penis Life and I'm gonna miss it. WAIT! Uh, yes! No. We still got it! No, no changes. This is S plus tier. No, it's penis life tier. <laughs> <laughs> now, next is the lightning round, where I'm gonna go through all the remaining openings for all the shows that I'm not watching this season. Except I'm lying. I did go through and record a lightning round session just like I said, but after doing that, I literally decided that I wanted to pick up two of the shows that were in the lightning round, just because I heard the openings. And fuck me, that's another two shows that I'm now watching week to week. <sighs> so here are those two openings first. Uh, I've seen all these Yamada-kun. Here we go. Ooh, the duet. I like those. I like those. I like those. I like these. These are cute. I like these, these styles of openings. It's cute. I like this one a lot. Shit. That makes me want to watch the show. Fuck. I can't add more. I already have like 15 shows I'm watching. Fuck me. Uh, yeah, I added it. Yeah, this one's going into the cutest shit I've ever seen. And look, we now have two cutest shits I've ever seen. Uh, what's this one? Heavenly Delusion. Let's take a look. I really like the visual direction so far. I was not ready for this shit. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, wait. Holy shit. Windows screensaver. Dude, this is so good. The song is so powerful and the visuals are so fucking like creative and going wild like crazy. That's awesome. That's a fucking top tier opening. Yeah, Heavenly Delusion is like a... It almost made my going to watch this list. It might still. I might still pick it up. I picked it up. Big shocker. This one easily, easily goes into dope, but for real this time. Because it's really dope. 
but for real this time. All right, time for the real lightning round. Let's go through all the remaining 40 million openings. So the first one is Dr. Stone season three. It's a pretty nice bop, so not bad. Isekai cheat skill, whatever, whatever, whatever. It's not bad. It's okay. The dangers in my heart opening. I don't have that much to say about it. It's kind of mid. My home hero. Eh? Dead Mount Death Play. It's pretty good. Actually, yeah, honestly, it's pretty good. Kamikatsu. Uh, uh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Uh, the Aristic. Oh, fucking dude. Who was watching these? I'd also say this one didn't really blow me away too much, but I didn't dislike anything, really. Kuma 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 Bear opening. <laughs> okay, it's cute. The end. It's kind of creative with the stuff at the beginning. Not bad. Uh, <laughs> he's in a no allele. It was alright. It was pretty nice. I'm gonna put this in quite mid, I'm sorry. Opus Colors. Mid. Put it in mid. Nyx Say Story Season 2. This is another case of I like the song, but the visuals don't really do much for me. Oh yeah, buddy! Isekai smartphone! How is this phone still charged? Who knows? All right, it's over. F tier. Put that shit in F tier. <laughs> that sucked dick. A galaxy next door. Oh, that's cute. That little thing on the in the paper on the paper is cute. Yeah, there wasn't much going on in this one either, but it was cute as shit. So I like it. This is the legendary hero is dead. He's dead! <laughs> okay, this one's fun. This one's pretty fun. Pretty good. Mobile Suit Gundam, The Witch from Mercury Season 2. It's by Yama. I'm actually expecting great things from this. Dude, Yama's voice is just, like, on another level. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a good one. Next is my one-hit kill sister. This one's memes. This one's a meme. This one's a meme. It's a meme! This show's a meme! Did she just rub her face against his so hard that it exploded? What the fuck? I've said this for every fucking show. It's fun. It's cute. It is! It's okay. It's fine. It's good. Magical Destroyers. <sighs> what is happening? Oh! Why is this song freaking out at me? What the fuck is going on? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? I don't know where to rate that one. I, I'll, I'll just leave it up to my future self. Uh, put it somewhere, I don't know. Eden Zero, season two. It's okay. Who's that? What the? Who's this guy? What the? <laughs> yeah, it, it's okay. It's fine. It's an okay one. This one is the Cafe Terrace and its goddesses. This is the dance one. We got dancing. They just have this like one filter on it the entire time. Okay, it's actually pretty good. I actually, okay, uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know orchestra. Got, it's a vibe, it's definitely a vibe. It might be too much of a vibe. I don't know how I feel about these, <laughs> these like still images, but the hair is moving and shit. Ah. I like the direction they were going. I mean, they were going full out on like the look at look how beautiful this is. Except I don't know if it worked out a hundred percent. Otaku elf. Have I heard this song before? I like the song. I like the song. <laughs> Otherwise, I think it's kind of normal. It's like a little bit generic, nothing too special. But I personally really like the song, so I'll put it a little higher up. Too cute crisis. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I don't I don't think I liked it that much, but it was very interesting and creative, so I'll at least give it credit for that. Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. Wait, what the fuck? This is This is good. <laughs> Wait, I'm feeling something. Wait, I really like that. It's mostly because of the song. I think the singer is fucking incredible. Tokyo Mew 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 Season 2 opening. Tokyo Mew Mew! I 
I, I, no, I didn't like that at all, no. I think overall it was an okay one. I'm putting it in okay. This is not me in denial. The Idolmaster Cinderella Girls U149. Fuck, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> I liked it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Stella of the Theater World Die Star. Another idol one. It was okay. This one's Toso Chu Great Mission. It's by Toei Animation and I'm scared of them, so I'm not gonna show the visuals. <laughs> Wait, this is awesome! I thought the visuals were really whatever, but the song is one of my favorites that I've heard from this season. Wow. Okay, last one. This is Sorceress Stabber Orphan Doom of Dragon Sanctuary. Try saying that 10 times fast. Wow, I didn't like the visuals or the song. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this, but I think we have a second entry in the dog shit tier. Very sorry to all the Sorcerer's Stabber Orphan fans out there, but uh, we're done. That's it. Okay, and that does it. We did it. I'm a fucking insane person for doing all this, but if you made it through this whole video, then so are you. I'll say it again. This season is absolutely filled to the brim with great shows, so enjoy them as much as you can. I think I'm really gonna enjoy having Japanese animated television shows eat up all of my time and ruin my life. Okay, bye. Yelena?